LOL, LMFAO, bro, bra, dude. Famous intellectual Jordan Peterson sharing his intellectualism with the world. Well, that was a little snippet from a video that he put out yesterday titled, A Message to Twitter CEO Parag Argrawal. Did I say that right? Yeah, relatively. Nailed it. Now, uh, why did he need to send out a strong message to the CEO of Twitter? Well, Peterson was banned from the platform last June for demanding, um, for saying terrible things about El uh, Elliot Page, of course, dead naming, her, uh, dead naming him. Peterson infamously uh, said that he would rather die than delete the tweet. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, he did indeed delete the tweet a few days ago. Peterson claimed that he had to do house cleaning on his Twitter account. That's oh, why of course, it. yeah, of course, yeah. Now to save face, <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. I mean, I would rather die, but I had to do house cleaning. So I mean, death after house cleaning, but that was a bigger priority. Who believes this? Really, you believe this? So to save face, he posted a screenshot of the tweet that got him banned, and then he got banned again. <laughs> so we're gonna play some clips from the video rant that Peterson put out as a result of all of this. But let's just be very clear, Peterson is obviously addicted to Twitter. That's num point number one, mm. he is addicted to Twitter. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. If I didn't do this job, I would literally never be on Twitter. I wouldn't have a Twitter account. In fact, I have a Twitter account. I barely go on there because I hate everyone on Twitter. <laughs> and no, I'm not even kidding. There is no political group that redeems itself on Twitter, okay? The left, terrible. The right, terrible. Everyone's terrible on Twitter. That's the establishment whole point. worse. Oh, they're all terrible. Doesn't matter. Whatever flavor of politics you're into, Go on Twitter and it'll dissuade you from supporting that flavor of politics. Anyway, moving on. So um, let's get to the first clip. This is where uh, Peterson continued his obsession with Elliot Page uh, and his private parts. Let's watch. The tweet that brought about my suspension was one directed, for better or worse, at the actress slash actor Ellen, now Elliot Page who I criticized along with his or her physician for publicly trumpeting and publicizing the decision to have her perfectly functional breasts removed in the attempt to switch sexes, which decision was up to him or her. And appropriately, I at least half suppose. Oh, he just referred to perfectly functional breasts. You're perverted and weird, please stop. Like it's so we I hadn't seen that video until this moment. This moment. What? Is your wife okay with this? He has a wife? Does he? He has a wife, right? I don't know. I think. I don't know. I well, thought he was did. it an enforcement Dude, argument. If, <laughs> if my husband was on camera wearing that neon green shirt while talking about some other person's functional breasts, I would Divorce, it's over. Like you're you're humiliating me. I can't be with you anymore. Like what is that? <laughs> so, but guys, I'll never understand the right wing uh, other than all of their phobias and fears manifested in the world. I think that pr pretty much explains it. But why do you care? Because he's a pervert. That's why, why. he's a pervert. Let's keep it real. Normal people don't think about other individuals' body parts like this. They don't, they just don't. Normal people don't. They've got other things to do. It's creepy. Does that, am I the only one who thinks this? Does anyone else think it's creepy? Of course it's creepy. I mean, look, to be fair, it does happen sometimes in the real world. Once I lost 60 pounds, uh -huh. and when I did, people were like, you had a perfectly functional gut. You know, and I'm obsessed. Why did it go away? Why did it go away? I'm obsessed with your life. I want it back. I want to judge your life. I want to judge your body, and I, I just I want to look at your body at all times and then judge it afterwards. Why do you guys care what other people do? It's called freedom. Look into it. Oh God. Okay, and then he went on a weird tangent about Saudi Arabia. Can't wait. Let's watch. And Trump's team finalized the Abraham Accords which could obviously have been expanded more recently to include the Saudis. The Saudis, 
who worked diligently in the background to make that impossible peace with Israel a reality, who offer at least a comparatively desirable alternative to the Iranians, and who might well have been willing to provide the emergency fossil fuel that would have kept gasoline and heating and cooling prices down for Americans at the pump and at home if their rulers hadn't been hectored on very dubious moral grounds by the unwise actors constituting the current Democrat administration. Mohammed bin Salman ordered the assassination and dismemberment of Jamal Khashoggi, who was a United States resident and journalist at the Washington Post. What is he talking about? He said that they were, that Mohammed bin Salman, the rulers of Saudi Arabia, had been hectored on dubious moral grounds. Was it? If, was if, it dubious? Wait, wait, wait. If chopping up a human being is not immoral, what is immoral? Like, like doing away with fully functional breasts. That's okay, oh yeah. yeah you you got, deciding you what to do with your you body and having personal freedom? Unacceptable, evil. Where are the functional breasts? Oh, him chopping that dude up? Ah, what are you making he's, a big moral deal out of that for? What are you more, hectoring the guy for? He's more offended by a beautiful, full figured model being on the cover of Sports Illustrated because he's not attracted to her and he can't jerk off to her. He's more offended by that. Then Jamal Khashoggi getting assassinated and dismembered based on the orders of Mohammed bin Salman in Saudi Arabia. Like, and, let that sink in for a second. He's a creep. And guys, for God's sake, nothing he makes makes sense. Nothing he says makes sense. He said, uh, well, you know, we needed to get, and if, we, if the Democrats hadn't hectored Saudi rulers, we would have had a cheaper gas. Well, under your logic, then if we hadn't hectored the Iranian rulers, we'd have cheaper gas. Because the Iranians can give us the gas just as much as the Saudis can. Oh No, but the Iranians are worse. Why are they worse? Did they chop up someone? Okay, look, I don't like the Iranian rulers. I don't like the Saudi rulers. But why the Saudi rulers that are nearly identical are good guys and we're needlessly bothering them, but the Iranians are bad guys. What what are you talking about? Or maybe and, you know, um, since we produce the most oil and gas of any other country in the world, maybe we uh, nationalize those resources so these uh, corporations and fossil fuel companies stop exporting them outside the country to the highest bidder. Has he considered that? Probably not. No. Or we can yeah. you know we can say we're going to keep a higher percentage of the profits from our oil and our gas, which is under American. Soil. Oh, no, 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 those are beloved corporations. What happened? I thought you were for the people. Mm. No, of course, you're for corporations, you're for American imperialism. What, did, what was that thing about oh, the impossible peace between Saudi Arabia and Israel? What are you talking about? Saudis and Israelis, they, their governments have, are both right wing and have been allies for a long time behind the scenes. You don't know that? He knows. He or knows. maybe he doesn't. I don't know. Who knows? He's a moron. Uh, he's a moron with a, that speaks with SAT words. But since the right wingers don't understand anything, they think the words prove that he's smart, even though they're in the wrong order. <laughs> they make no sense when you put them in a sentence. By the way, he is married, uh, just to like circle back to that. I put a pin in it, circled back. Tammy Peterson is the name of his wife. Uh, but we have one more video, Jake. So let's oh, go to great, that. Oh, great, because these are going really well. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah, let's, let's take a look at the last one. The fact that you so casually enable that tiny minority of cowardly anonymous people who have nothing better to do than cause trouble by generating and promulgating the kind of derisive, contemptuous, LOL, LMFAO, bro, bra, dude comments that would get anyone who dared utter even one of them in person to their targets immediately punched in that mocking, cowardly, self-aggrandizing face means that your platform represents a signal threat to the integrity of the discourse upon which the stability of your country and the mental health of its youth depend. Dude. <laughs> Bruh, okay, so I tried to follow the logic. You, you don't allow me, but you allow people who say bruh and LOL on Twitter. 
and obviously, because of their face, they deserve to be punched. Yeah, that was his chain of logic. Mm -hmm. And since we all want to commit physical violence against them, by the way, I shouldn't be banned. You're the one saying you want to commit physical violence. No, but they're forcing me by saying, bruh, okay. <laughs> Hence, your platform is a threat to discourse. Mm. That's why I would like to be back on it. <laughs> what? <laughs> bruh. <laughs> <laughs> you know oh. what? Keep them coming, Jordy. Keep yeah. them coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Keep these them are coming. hilarious. They're, I mean, I, I have not been this entertained in a long time. And for every right winger out there, and it's almost all of them, they're like, oh, yeah. How about Jordan Peterson? Uh, bruh, how about? Uh, how about? Yeah. Bruh. <laughs> he, bruh, look, first of all, he knows. If you're trans, you're mutilating yourself and it's un unacceptable. And if the Saudis are chopping you up in your arms and your legs, that is not mutilation. That's awesome. <laughs> yes. Okay. And you should not hector them with dubious moral complaints. <gasps> Bruh. <laughs> That's it. I mean, what else can we add to that? What else can we add to that? But you know what? I am really appreciative of the fact that he's like dipping his toe into like the vintage fashion world with that blazer. Do you boo? <laughs> Do you boo? Are we not the fairest show in America? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching The Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.